Yo, what is going on guys? NIK Racing League here and welcome to the big one. It's LucasAid the V8 Supercars time. It's the big one. It's the one everyone's been waiting for. And we're going to start off with two rounds here at Brands Hatch, the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit for this weekend. It's going to be well. We saw some great NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series races. And now we're going to get started with the big boys, the V8s. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure everyone else is. And yeah, 17 laps around this famed, around the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. Who's come out the winner? We will find out. Here's your starting line then. On the pole for this race is the 22. That is Carter Friesen. Then we have the 10 of Nathan Norman. He starts second. Then we have the 47 of Greg Torres. The 97 of Mark Owens. The 17 of of Melody Bowers, then we have the 1 of Jay Jefferson, the 34 of Phoebe Iwata, the 36 of Sebastian Kukulon, the 15 of Kevin Bandon, the 888 or the 888 is Joe Jefferson, then we have the 4 of Luigi Octavo, the 2 is William Seaman, then we have the 8 of Henrietta Fitzwater, the 3 of Max Anderson, the 55 of Greg Lee, the 88 of Mac Johnson, then we have the 18 of Ryan Taylor, the 5 of Marcus Sacchi, then we have the 360 of Paul Taylor and the 80 of Joe Rutowski. Then we have the 66 of Nicholas Wade and the 21 of Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Then we have the 7 of Colton Yo, the 19 of Landon Lyons, the 33 of Tim Gary, the 14 of Dan Batten, the 9 of Alexander Rowe, the 12 of Brad Lewis, and the 6 of Stephen Taylor. We saw two great Euro Series races with. Jay Jefferson and Marcus Sacchi coming out the winners. Who's going to pick up the V8 title today in round number one here? Of course, round number two will be coming out later. Here we are then, the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit, the venue for round one in both the championships. Friesen and Ormond starting out front. They have the field of 29 cars come round the turn and round number one of the Lucas 8 V8 supercars it's gonna be wild it's gonna be fun round one of the Lucas 8 supercars is underway freezing the Normans to the green flag and we are racing first turn they go then and it is Carter Friesen who is out in front wild a lot of cars going off the circuit there <coughs> <coughs> been to turn them on they go and a Carter Friesen comes up successfully the lead second is Nathan Norman third Greg Torres they come down the back stretch great start from the 22 of Carter Friesen he is out front, Ormond is in second, third Torres, fourth Owens, fifth is Jay Jefferson. As they come off the turn then, leading lap number one of the Lucas A V8 supercar season is Carter Friesen in the 22. Second then we have Nathan Ormond. Torres got a good start in third, there's Owens, there's Jay Jefferson. Behind him, the 17 of Melody Bowers, Kukulon, Seaman, and they all come battling it out down this straight as we go on board with Henrietta Fitzwater in the eight. As Mac Johnson goes way wide off the track there. Look how many cars there, all spread out. Fighting, battling for the win here. Friesen's got a decent lead already. Him and Ormond pulling away. Friesen drives off the turn. And this front five have pulled away from Kukulon, who has now made his way up to sixth. Behind him, Melody Bowers, William Seaman, and Phoebe Oata. And they all drive into the turn. That's a good start from Sebastian Kukulon. In the 36. As they 
Oh, driving for the turn. He now gets clear. Bowers. And then top 10, Max Anderson is there now. Bandon and Joe Jefferson fighting. Back here about between Paul Taylor and Zachary Fitzwater Senior. Fighting hard for a position inside the top 20 here. Towards the rear of the field, here we have a few more cars. Some of the cars that aren't doing so well, including Alexander Rowe, who currently rounds off the rest of the field. The Friesens had a fantastic start to this race. Nathan Ormond and Greg Torres are battling it out for second. They're having a good little scrap there. Now Mark Owens comes in fourth. Joe Jefferson, I mean Jay Jefferson even, in fifth. Sixth, Cooper Long, seventh, Melody Bowers. Seaman, eighth. Iwata, ninth. Anderson, tenth. Not a lot of battles going on track at the moment. This is where it is at though. Ryan Taylor and Greg Lee had a bit of a side by side there. Paul Taylor making his debut there in 20th behind him 14 of Dan Bandon then we have Rotowski, Yo, Rad Lewis as well and there is the battle for last between Nicholas Wade and Alexander Rowe and if talking about a battle for second Greg Torres looking to make a move on Nathan Ormond don't think quite make it stick this time no one might get retain the position, but here comes Torres. A big run with the 47. 10 can't clear him for now. They come into this turn. And I think Greg Torres is going to get second here. And potentially Mark Owens is going to look to follow him through as well. Greg Torres goes to second place here in the V8. And this turn they come. Ormond now drops back to third. He's now going to be under threat from Mark Owens in the 97. However, he now drives it wide, and now that opens the gap for Jay Jefferson. Of course, Jay Jefferson, one of the NASCAR Euro Series winners. Yesterday. Now he wants to get a good finish in the V8s. Shows he loves Brands Hatch Indy. He's had a good weekend here. Now can he get the move on Owens? He might be able to. Kukulon looking to follow through the one there. And trying to pick up a few positions. And does he clear? He does. Joe Jefferson is up to the fourth position. From Owens now. Who could be on the attack from Sebastian Kukulon. However, so Kukulon drives it way wide. Get, got very loose into the turn. And here comes Melody Bowers. With a big run to the inside. And the 17 car goes to 7th place. 6th place even. Kukulon loses more positions now as William Seaman looks to go on the overtake. And he just mucked up that one turn. It's cost him a bit here as a lot of the cars power past. Still out in front though is that 22 of Carter Friesen. Not put a foot wrong yet and doing a fantastic job from the pole. He's way out in front. And Greg Torres in second. It's almost a two second lead now. Mark Owens and Joe Jefferson run at fourth and fifth. Nathan Ormond is in third. And then we have Melody Bowers in sixth. Seventh for Seaman. Eighth for Kukulon. Ninth. Is Iwata in tenth. It's Max Anderson, but Kevin Bandon is looking to change that soon. That Nissan is trying to get to the back of the three. They're now going to this turn. The drive off. It. Still no kind of on battle. It's going on right now. However, Seaman has lost 7th place. Back to the 36 of Kukulon, who goes back up one. Carter Friesen, though, is doing everything right at the moment. We see his teammate, Seaman, in the 8th position. And Walsh is not doing too bad in the ninth place run. 10th is Anderson on his NL UK debut. A lot of NL UK debuts here in the V8. V8. Iwata challenging for 8th here. 34 looking to make a big bold move. Can she make it stick? Just about. I think she's going to get that place. It's 
some nice driving from the 34 of Iwata then. It's a good start for that team. She might not even get it back. In fact, Siemens putting up a pretty good fight right here. He's going to get the lead off the turn. It's really tight. Neck and neck so far between the 2 and the 34. Seaman just has the advantage currently, but will Iwata be able to get him into this turn? They're neck and neck. No one is wanting to give up this position yet. That's just allowed though Kevin Bandon and Max Anderson to join the party here. Seaman going to get... Yes, who's going to get him this time? I think Seaman might have cleared her. No, coming back is the 34. This is a great battle for the 8th position between Seaman and Iwata. Is going to get this position. No, he won't. Still, Iwata still putting up the fight. Neck and neck. They have not been able to get in front of either of each other yet. And across the line this time, once again, it's Seaman has the advantage. They cannot split these two at the moment. Some great side by side battle here. Can the two clear? Just about. They almost ran into each other there. Can the 34 clear the two? They're still battling hard. They do not want to give up this position. Fantastic racing here at Brands Hatch. Can the two get clear this time? Can he get clear? Finally, he does. The two has got out in front. Finally, that long dispute has ended with the two of William Seaman coming out on top. In fact, during this time, the one of Jay Jefferson's caught up to Nathan Ormond. He might be looking to make a move for the third position. Friesen is still from by quite a while, quite a way. Ormond's caught back up though to the 47 of Greg Torres. That, that battle for second could be quite intriguing. And here comes Jay Jefferson with his move towards the inside, looking for a podium spot. And he is gonna get there. Once again, we can have another side-by-side <laughs> -side battle here. Very similar to the Seaman Iwata battle that happened. But Jefferson this time clears the 10. And Jay Jefferson goes to the fourth position. Some good driving there. Nicholas Wade's off the pace and back there. Then we have a few other drivers that haven't had the days they've wanted yet. No real on track battles I can find happening at the moment. These two who had a long dispute haven't been able to renew it just yet but I tell you what Iwata's definitely having a look this has been the battle of the weekend so far not going to get there though at this time Google on the Melody Bowers having a good battle for that sixth position in front of them Mark Owens in fifth Ormond fourth Jay Jefferson is in third but Carl Friesen's doing a pretty good job at the moment he is still out front and led every single lap so far very dominant, very similar to the Jay Jefferson um, win in the Euro Series last time out. Friesen leads another lap here. He's got a decent lead over Torres in second. He has in himself had a good race today. Now Jay Jefferson in third, Ormond fourth, then Owens is in fifth. But some definitely some good battles happening here on track. going through the rest of the field here. Some of the back markers are doing Stephen Taylor, Brad Lewis, Rotowski not having the start he wanted. Of course they still got another race today. They still can make up for it yet. In fact here is a battle. Joe Jefferson, who his family relative Jay just managed to get past, was looking on the four of Weed Shot Taylor there, however he couldn't make it stick. Taylor in fact passed Joe Jefferson. So Tavo moves up posi a position. Marcus Sacchi has done well. He's in 12th. He's had a good weekend here. Made up a lot of spots. Anderson's dropped now to 11th. That's allowed Kevin Bandon to get through at 10th. William Seaman's got a bit of a gap over in water now. Kukulon quite far away ahead in 7th. The battle for 4th could be quite interesting here. Nathan Orman doesn't like to have the best car out there on track. Which is a shame for him. He's not had the best of starts to his weekend here. Behind him though now Mark Owens, Melody Bowers, Kukulon. I want to try and get that fourth position. 
out in front though, Friesen, whose lead has slightly diminished here. Greg Torres has a good charge, but I think it's just a little bit too late for the 47 team right now. He's digging hard though, certainly going to give, could potentially give the 22 a run for the money, I don't think it's quite going to be enough. Melody Bowers, however, making a move for the fifth position, trying to get a top five. The 17 is. It's going to make it work, she does. Melody Bowers out front then. Mark Owens now, could it, after that move, could even be under attack from the 36 of Kukulon now. And for the rest of the field, one more time, in fact. Final lap for Carter Friesen. The 22 has been out front all day long. This race has been a dominant one from this team. They've had a fantastic start. They stood out of trouble. And it has not played put foot wrong. The 47 closed them down, but it's going to be too little too late, I think, for Greg Torres. Can Friesen get through the last few turns and pick up a win here? Through the final turn, they go then. Friesen in the lead. A fantastic race, and it's an absolutely dominant performance from Carter Friesen. The 22 leads every single lap onto victory. And the winner of round one of the Lucas E V8 Supercar Series is Carter Friesen in the 22. Congratulations. What a fantastic race from Carter Friesen, and he dominated it. Second, and a podium for Greg Torres as well as Jay Jefferson. They own their podiums very well indeed. Ormond finished in fourth. Melody Bowers got fifth. Owens Hood up, hang on for sixth. Seventh was Kukul on eighth. William Seaman ninth was Iwata. And Kevin Bander rounded out the top ten. Here are the finishing results then. And, well, there you go. Carter Friesen at the top. Led every single lap. Second was Greg Torres, third Joe Jefferson, fourth was Nathan Norman, Melody Bowers rounds out your top five and fifth, Mark Owens in sixth, Sebastian Kugel on seventh, William Seaman eighth, Phoebe Iwata in ninth, and Kevin Bandon rounds out your top ten. That was entertaining. What a start to the V8 Supercar season. We'll catch you later on today for round number two. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye bye.